Please all stand and let us sing the entrance hymn. Good afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters. Good afternoon, Father. We include in this Mass our personal intentions. We pray for our families, our friends, and our loved ones. We also pray for our departed brothers and sisters, for the souls of Elisa Nunez, Atenogenes, Maria Lucia Jane, and Jalmar and for all the souls in purgatory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory, glory, glory to God in the highest and on earth please to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Heavenly King, O oh God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Mosai. Jesus Christ, in the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. 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 Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son has appeared in our very flesh, grant, we pray, that we may be inwardly transformed through Him, whom we recognize as outwardly like ourselves, 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, All you who are thirsty, come to the water. You who have no money, come, receive grain and eat. Come without paying and without cost. Drink wine and milk. Why spend your money for what is not bread? Your wages for what pales to satisfy. Heed me, and you shall eat well. You shall delight in rich fare. Come to me heedfully. Listen, that you may have life. I will renew with you the everlasting covenant, the benefits assured to David. As I made him a witness to the peoples, a leader and commander of nations. So shall you summon a nation you knew not, and nations that knew you not shall run to you, because of the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, who has glorified you. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call him while he is near. Let the scoundrel forsake his way, and the wicked man his thoughts. Let him turn to the Lord for mercy, to our God who is generous in forgiving. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. As high as the heavens are above the earth, so high are my ways above your ways and my thoughts above your thoughts. For just as from the heavens the rain and snow come down, and do not return there, till they have watered the earth, making it fertile and fruitful, giving seeds to the one who sows, and bread to the one who eats, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. My word shall not return to me void, but shall do my will, achieving the end for which I sent it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. God indeed is my Savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and He has been my Savior. With joy you will draw water at the fountain of salvation. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. Give thanks to the Lord. Acclaim His name. Among the nations, make known His deeds. Proclaim how exalted is his name. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. Sing praise to the Lord for his glorious achievement. Let this be known throughout all the earth. Shout with exaltation, O city of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. Please all stand.
and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. This is what John the Baptist proclaimed. One mightier than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop and loosen the thongs of his sandals. I have baptized you with the water. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. It happened in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized in the Jordan by John. On coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens being torn open and the Spirit like a dove descending upon him. And the voice came from the heavens, You are my beloved Son, with you I am well pleased. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Welcome po sa Parish and National Shrine of St. Padre Pio. Today we celebrate the Feast of the Baptism of the Lord. This is the conclusion of the Christmas season and the beginning of the ordinary time. And this is also the start of the public ministry of Jesus. The baptism of the Lord is the revelation of the divinity of Jesus. We heard in the Gospel that on coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens being torn open and the Spirit like a dove descending upon him. And a voice came from the heavens, You are my beloved Son, with you I am well pleased. Pinapakita dito ang pagkadiyos ng ating Panginoong Jesus. The baptism of the Lord also shows us the humility of Jesus. Kung paano nagpakumbaba ang ating Panginoong Jesus na sa kabila ng kanyang pagkadiyos, siya ay naging tao katulad natin at siya ay nagpabinyag kahit siya ay walang kasalanan. And because of this baptism of Jesus, He made the water holy. Na sa ngayon ay patuloy na ginagamit kapag tayo ay nagbibinyag, kapag mayroong binibinyagan. Kapakumbabaan ang pinakita ni Jesus sa pagsunod sa kalooban ng Diyos Ama. Ito rin ang paalala sa bawat isa atin na matuto tayong magpakumbaba sa ating buhay. Kung paanong ang ating Panginoong Hesus ay nagpakumbaba sa kabila ng kanyang pagkadyos, nararapat lamang na tayo bilang mga tao ay matutong magpakumbaba. Patuloy na ilapat ang ating mga paa sa lupa. Gaano man kalayo ang ating narating, gaano man katayog ang ating nalipad, huwag tayong magyayabang, manatiling mapagpakumbaba. And the third, the baptism of the Lord of our Lord Jesus Christ also reminds us of the baptism we have received. Yung ating misyon na tinanggap noong tayo ay binyagan bilang mga mananampalataya. Ito ay pagpapatuloy natin ng misyon ng ating Panginoong Jesus. Pagpapalaganap ng mabuting balita ng ating Panginoong Diyos. Pagpapalaganap ng pag-ibig ng Diyos. Pagpapahayag ng pagmamahal ng Diyos sa bawat isa, lalo tigit sa ating pamilya. Pagbibigay ng pag-asa sa mga tao na ating nakakasalamuha. Patuloy na pagpapahayag, pagdadala natin ng magandang balita ng ating Panginoong Hesus na tayo ay ligtas dahil sa dakilang pag-ibig ng Diyos. My dear brothers and sisters, on this feast of the baptism of the Lord, may we value the baptism that we have received May we value the faith that, that we profess and we continue the mission of Jesus Christ so that one day our Lord will also tell us, You are my beloved Son. 
You are my beloved daughter, with whom I am well pleased. Amen. For your offerings in the envelope, you may drop them at the collection baskets. Please all stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, the offerings we have brought to honor the revealing of your beloved Son, so that the oblation of your faithful may be transformed into the sacrifice of Him who willed in His compassion to wash away the sins of the world who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the waters of the Jordan, you revealed with signs and wonders a new baptism, so that through the voice that came down from heaven, we, may, we might come to believe in your word dwelling among us, and by the spirits descending in the likeness of a dove, we might know that Christ, your servant, has been anointed with the oil of gladness, and sent to bring the good news to the poor. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of us, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Son in the yes, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Son in the yes. Those who are unable to kneel, please remain standing with reverence. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. 
do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gilbert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant Elisa, whom you have called today from this world to yourself. Grant that she, who was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Please all stand. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be. This day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. 
The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Those who are unable to kneel, please remain standing with reverence. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The second collection, which will be done, is for the continuing development of the Paris and National Shrine of St. Padre Pio. Thank you for your offering. Come to Bethlehem and see, we must bird the angels sing. Come adore on bend the knee, Christ the Lord, the newborn King.
please all stand. Let us pray. Nourished with these sacred gifts, we humbly entreat your mercy, O Lord, that faithfully listening to your only begotten Son, we may be your children in name and in truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Prayer for intercession to Santo Padre Pio. All together, Padre Pio, Holy Monk from Pietro Elcina, outstanding saint of the present era, our bright beacon in this earthly pilgrimage, our sanctuary in times of trouble, holy exemplar of great courage, with you our needs do we confide, as well as our livelihood, our health, and our might. Unworthy as we are, we pray that you concede, bless and grace us that our lives may be fulfilled. From sin may we abstain, in God may we remain. We also beseech thee, servant of the Most Holy, to instruct us in the Gospel, that we may reflect and believe. Our requests are before thee, our hearts repent, resolving earnestly, to not sin again, to always follow God the Father, together with the Spirit, and Jesus the Mediator. Amen. Please be seated for some announcements. Una, sa inyong pagdalaw sa pambansang dambana, mangyaring pakiingatan ang inyong mga personal na gamit. Hangad namin ang isang matiwasay at maayos na pagbisita sa National Shrine. Ikalawa, mga kapiyo, kami po ay humihingi na inyong kaunting oras at pakikiisa para sa pagsusulat ng inyong mga pangalan at ilang detalye sa ating Pilgrim's Information Record Books na makikita sa paligid ng ating mga simbahan. Ito po ay bahagi ng documentation program para sa pagpapalawig ng mga datos at turismong pangsimbahan at bilang alaala din ng inyong pagbisita sa Pambansan Dambana. Para po sa ating mga balikbayan, OFW at mga kasama niyong foreigners, doon po kayo magsusulat sa International Pilgrims Record Book. Gagabayan po kayo ng ating mga tagapaglingkod. Ikatlo, sa darating pong Sabado, ikalabintatlo ng Enero, ay formal na ilulunsad ang bisita pastoral sa Archdiocese ng Lipa. Wala pong misa na ikalabing dalawa ng tanghali, at ang misa na ay ikasyam ng umaga at ikalawa ng hapon ay healing mass at liturgy ng pagpapagaling na may pagbabasbas ng banal na tubig. Salamat po. Maraming salamat po at mangyaring panatilihin natin ang kalanisan, katahimikan at diwa ng pananalangin sa loob at labas ng ating mga simbahan. Magsitayo na po ang lahat para sa pagbabasbas na religious articles. Mga kapatid, manalangin tayo sa Diyos amang makapangyarihan upang tayo ay maging kawangis ni Kristo sa temtim na pagdalangin sa tulong ng mga larawan at mga dasalan. O Panginoong Diyos, Ikaw ang bukal ng lahat ng pagpapala at biyaya. Ibuus mo ang iyong bendisyon sa mga gamit na ito sa panalangin. Mga rosaryo, imahen, dasalan na nagpapaalala ng iyong kabutihan, kabanalan at pagmamahal sa amin, upang ang lahat at dumulog at magdasal gamit ang mga ito ay magtamo ng iyong awa at biyaya. Loobin mong tularan nila ang kabanalan at aral ng Panginoon at ng mga santo magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Ama namin, sumasalangit ka, sambahin ang alan mo, mapasa amin ang kaharian mo, sundin ang loob mo dit sa lupa para nang sa langit. Bigyan mo kami ngayon ng aming kakanin sa araw-araw at patawarin mo kami sa aming mga sala para nang pagpapatawad namin sa nagkakasala sa amin at huwag mo kaming ipahintulot sa tukso at iadya mo kami sa lahat ng masama. Amen. Kabaginoong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya, ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukod kang pinagpala sa babaeng lahat at pinagpala naman ang iyong anak na si Yesus. Santa Maria, Inanan Diyos, 
ipanalangin mo kaming makasalanan, ngayon at kung kami mamamatay. Amen. Luwalhati sa Ama, sa Anak at sa Espiritu Santo, kaparanong una, ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Luwalhati sa Ama, sa Anak at sa Espiritu Santo, kaparanong una, ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Luwalhati sa Ama, sa Anak at sa Espiritu Santo, kaparanong una, ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Luwalhati sa Ama, sa Anak at sa Espiritu Santo, kaparanong una, ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Oh